Hey, it's the Empire. Don't forget to hit the like button, the subscribe button, and the bell icon for more videos. Be taking over. Let's go, champ. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button right now. Let's go. Hey, it's the Empire. Geo Boxing Empire. Back to boxing. Now, man, Andy Ruiz Jr., man. He's back at it again. Back at it again. Watching Anthony Joshua train, man. He's watching his training. He's watching the guy carefully. And he's basically monitoring Anthony Joshua's uh, social media. Now, Anthony Joshua, man, you see him, he's on a treadmill throwing jabs, and he's uh, basically throwing jabs at a heavy bag, and this guy throwing, is throwing a towel down, and Anthony Joshua is moving back and jabbing it and th and doing the same thing over and over again, right? And Andy Reese basically says this guy's slow, right? <laughs> it's funny because when he retweets it, he has like the animal emoji, and then he has hashtag Reese Joshua too, you know? And you know, these exercises, I'm not too sure if Anthony Joshua is doing for the Twittergram j just to say, yeah, he's doing something to work on his movement and things like that. But, you know, Anthony Joshua is really going to need, he already has the things he needs to be Anthony, uh, uh, Anthony Andy Ruiz. He just needs to get in his rhythm more. You know, um, Anthony Joshua was doing good in the fight until he started getting reckless and trying to trade with Andy Ruiz. And that's something you don't do against a faster, quicker fighter, you know. Now it's crazy because Andy Reeves, you know, I've been following the whole news between Andy Reeves and Anthony Joshua. And Andy Reeves was basically talking about how, you know, he didn't have much time to prepare for the first fight. He said he only had like five weeks or something like that. And he says, what is he, he going to do with the full training camp? You know, Andy Reeves can definitely look better. You know, that wasn't probably 100% Andy Reeves. That, maybe that was like 87% max, you know. No, that, that being said, Anthony Joshua, while he was preparing for Gerald Miller, you know, Andy Reeves is a whole other animal. And that's a whole other guy prepared for. And now that Anthony Joshua lost, he's, he might come in better than he ever before because this is his first defeat. You know, um, th this right here is a make it break it for Anthony Joshua right here. So you're either going to see the best Anthony Joshua or you're going to maybe see a stage fright Anthony Joshua. He might hesitate and start having flashbacks from the first fight. Now, this this is getting really interesting, man. You know, Andy Reeves was always viewed as a humble fighter until this whole Anthony Joshua win, you know. And I, I've been seeing a lot of bravado from Andy Reeves. You know, he's really been coming out and really been talking trash and really been, you know, criticizing Anthony Joshua for the kind of fighter he is. And, you know, right or wrong, you know, he has a lot of character to him that people aren't aware of. And this is good for Andy Reeves. People need to know who the guy is. And, you know, being humble only works to a certain limit. Eventually, you got to show some kind of personality to make people interested in you in the first place, right? Andy Reeves' um, Twitter following has skyrocketed, right? He has over 100,000 Twitter followers now ever since it's Anthony Joshua. And, you know, before, he was, he was really low. He didn't have nowhere near that many. I'm pretty sure his Twitter following probably went, you know, tenfold. You know, I remember when I was uh, following a guy, he wasn't, he wasn't doing that good in followers, but now just that one fight catapulted him to basically superstardom. You know, um, it's only a matter of time before Andy Weiss becomes a household name, you know, win or lose against Anthony Joshua just because people know who he is now. You know, uh, think of like a, any Mexican fighter who has one big win but never really does anything after that. Like a Victor Ortiz, I remember when he beat Andre Berto, that was a really big deal. And then you know he fought Berto again. He got he got stopped. <laughs> he got knocked out. But ever since that one win, it was such a good fight that uh, people really got behind Victor Ortiz. You know I had to pick a Mexican out that you know had a, a, a basically career defining win. And ever since that one win, they always had hope. So Andy Ruiz is the heavyweight champion. It, it's it's legendary in itself. So they're gonna have to really get behind Andy Ruiz because who else can he really go for? That's Mexican at the heavyweight division. Really nobody. Right, nobody. So that being said, man, Andy Ruiz, you know, he's really getting cocky. He's really getting arrogant. He's talking trash about Anthony Joshua, and you know, and that's a good thing. You know, he's really getting into Anthony Joshua's head. You know, like Floyd Mayweather does. He beats you before he gets in the ring with you, and that's what Andy Ruiz is trying to do to, to Anthony Joshua, which, which is a genius, a genius approach. So we're gonna see this fight, man. It's coming closer and closer. Anthony Joshua is doing remedial workouts at best i really thought he should have got a better trainer maybe someone who actually boxes you know instead of like you know random people you know coming up with you know you know cringe ideas to to box better i mean it's just 
it's crazy because when Anthony Joshua was doing good in the fight, I rewatched I rewatched the fight again. When he first dropped him, when Anthony Joshua was doing good, he was actually walking injuries down. He walked him down and then threw an uppercut left hook. You know, if you smother a faster fighter, it basically becomes power at that point. It becomes who hits harder. And when Anthony Joshua closed the distance against Andy Ruiz, for if he went forward instead of Andy Ruiz coming forward, Anthony Joshua was actually better in those exchanges, you know? See, the problem with the uh, Anthony Joshua is when he's backing up and Andy, Andy Ruiz gets low, Andy Ruiz is coming forward, so he has more mem- momentum in his punches. But when Anthony Joshua comes forward, he can basically smother Anthony, uh, Andy Ruiz's work and hit him with a clean, effective shots. So, I mean, I'm not sure if he has the right game plan in this fight, but, you know... I mean, who am I, right? But I, I just think that Anthony Joshua should should have got an elite trainer for this fight because this is a basically make it break it. It's all or nothing right now. So if you got to pay these fighters or these uh, trainers a lot of money, you should do that, right? That's what I really want to see. If he had, like, an elite-level trainer, maybe like a Virgil Hunter, then I would feel much more confident in Anthony Joshua in this fight, you know, based off his training off Twitter. I'll link it in the description so you guys can watch it yourself to Andy Reese's Twitter thing. But it, it's pretty cool, man. It shows Anthony Joshua working in some various you know, movement exercises <laughs> using a jab. So, I mean, I, I don't, I just think it's too, like, you know, it's just too amateur the way he's doing. It's just not, it's not the fine art of, like, you know, there's trainers who specifically train one specific style of fighting. Virgil Hunter is known to make fighters box, period. So, you know, you want a boxing trainer to, bo- to train you how to really use your jab and be effective with it, not just some, you know, slap some stuff together, I think this might work, and walk backwards on a treadmill. That's not that's not practical enough. But anyway, let me know how you guys feel about Andy Reese, man. Trashing Anthony Joshua with the robot MOG man. Really crazy stuff. Let me know how you guys feel about it. Like, comment, subscribe. This is the Empire. Geobus Empire. Peace.